Hi guys, and welcome to another episode. So yeah, we're here at Gunnar's Hold again. We're with Matt this time. We're going to see Matt's story as he leaves Gunnar's. Um, just so that you guys know, yes, we have these last few episodes. I know we've switched very quickly between all three characters. That's not how the entire Eye of the North Let's Play is going to go. Um, it's not my intention to do sort of an episode, an episode, an episode, switching between guys. Because the story, I don't want people to have to sort of juggle and remember all the storylines that are going on. And they do get a little bit more complex later on when you get to the various regions and into the meat of them. Uh, so so I, I wouldn't do that to you guys. So hopefully the plan for now is to sort of um, do, uh, I don't know, five to ten episodes per character and then swap. We'll see how it goes, but that's the plan. Anyway, right, so uh, what are we doing with Matt? Well, he's got a bit of business to do at Gunnar's Hold. He's got some people to talk to. The first was in the tournament, um, Matt met this uh, hero here, this new hero, Kamu. And uh, Kamu's a dervish who the Norn, if you remember when we recruited him, the, the Norn seemed to think he's like a, uh, a Norn spirit born as a human, or he's a, he's a Norn born in the wrong body, um, and they all love him, but he's been defeated in the tournament. And similar to Zandra, Magni has actually got a quest for us about him, so let's, let's click Nornhood. He says, let me tell you of the dervish Kamu. My people speak of him with great reverence, a Norn born in the wrong body. I had such high hopes for him until his unfortunate defeat in my tournament. If Kamu wants to prove he's worthy to stand with us, there is a ritual he can undertake. He must track down and slay a mighty beast. Simple, really. A great Jotun is harassing travellers en route to my tournament. Hunt down this beast and Kamu may redeem himself in our eyes. It was last seen in Drakkar Lake, near the outskirts of Sifala. You would be wise to begin your search there. Right, okay, so this quest we're going to be doing and everything works out quite well really because the primary quest with us helping Jura actually takes us to Safala as well. So we'll be going in the same direction, right? Time to prove your Nornhood, Kamu. So we're going to be doing that alongside our next destination just as Tom helped out Zandra on his way to his next destination. But why are we going to Safala? Well, let's have a quick brief recap. We came to the Ard North, found out about the Destroyers, found out about the Dwarves who are fighting the, the Destroyers, and that's a really big thing later on, uh, the Dwarves versus the Destroyers. But um, Ogden in particular wants to recruit these Norn of the far shiver peaks to help in the fight uh, and we decided to start with a norm we met the first norm we ever met jora who ogden seems to think will be able to help us but when we went to try and help her um she said she was in a hunt uh, a hunt for a norm bear which we did see and we did fight but it teleported off before we could do anything so we're going to try and help her with that the norm are very independent so she might not like that but we'll see how it goes um but we need to seek out gunnar pound fist uh to see what we can do about actually finding this norm it's Norn Bear. So yeah, here's Gunnar. I think we briefly spoke to him in a previous episode. I can't remember. It was a while ago now. But um, yeah, he's got a lot to tell us about the Norn. Who oh yes, yes, yes. Didn't we already read about the Norn? Yeah, I think I told you guys about those. So, welcome, young one. Have you come to hear of the tales of the founding of Gunnar's Hold and the legends of my family? Or maybe you seek my smithing skill. So we already found out about all that. Yeah, I remember talking about this. So uh, let's click tracking the Norn Bear. So, Jorah sent you? Poor girl, but she's a shell of her former self. It all started with that cursed Norn bear. I fear Jorah, like any Norn, will never accept your help, but that doesn't mean you can't claim this Norn bear as your own prey. Okay, so we kind of go against her, but for her own good. Okay, so here's what you should do. Sif Shadowhunter is a respected hunter among our people. If anyone can help you track down that ravaging abomination, it would be her. Find her in Sifala, northwest of here. Right, so Sifala is the destination. We're going to find a hunter to help us track down the Nornbear. Thank you very much, Gunnar. I thought we'd have Are a lot more to talk about. Something? I actually completely forgot we'd already got the background on the Norn there. Oh, I know what we didn't get the background on. We didn't speak to um, the the Dwarven guy, did we? So yeah, we also met Kilroy here at the... Um who was sort of compete? Who had like a mini game for us? If you remember where we went boxing, it's actually a quest I didn't do. I'm not going to bother showing you guys it. It's not that amazing. But uh, there was another dwarf who teaches about the dwarfs. So there's actually four reputations you can get. You can get reputation with the Asura, the Norn, the humans, and the dwarves. The dwarves being the only ones that don't really have much relevance as a playable race in Guild Wars 2. So let's speak to Kodan to teach us about the dwarves. You seek the dwarves. Or will he really teach us that much? He says, Ho there, Matt Greenspring. I see you're a brave one, talented too, I'd wager. If you showed me your metal, I might put in a good word for you with my fellows. Do you have any journals or records of your great deed with that sort of written evidence? I can prove your worth to the other dwarves. So, again, this is another book you can get. Um, dwarves value hard labour more than any more than empty words, friend. Go find some dwarves and perform services for them. They'll warm up to you in time. You can also seek out beacons of Drocknar, which were created by the dwarves to monitor the wilds. Also, we value strict record keeping, so copy down everything you, you do in a book, blah blah blah. Okay, so we'll meet these beacons later. He didn't really have it much interesting to say either. Right, okay, well, 
That didn't go exactly as I thought it would, but that's fine. Let's uh, add our party and head off to um, Sephala, which as you can see is quite far north. So this time we're going to the top left exit. Let's go. Of course now I really want to watch out for these bounties from these guys because um, it's become a hell of a lot more important because I want, uh, since Matt's up here in the far Shiver Peaks, I want him to get a good reputation with them. By the way, you see how I've already fought this guy and I had to, I, in a previous episode, now I'm doing it again. Um, if that happens too much, if there is a lot of overlap where we've already seen it happen on a previous character, and I don't think it will because now they're all in completely different corners of Tyria, but if there is much overlap, oh god, what the hell, ugh. Ice golems! If there is, I will cut them out. Okay. Right, so, top left. Now, this is our last chance to talk about, uh, to meet that boss I was talking about before. I'm hoping it appears. It, it's got a random spawn. So, you remember I was talking about Fenrir and the, uh, this explorable area. In fact, you can also find it in the Biora Marches, which we saw last episode. Um, but it's a random spawn. Yorgamund. I think that's what he's called in this game. Another shrine here. I probably should have waited to... Sp oh, no, he's a collector. Hello. Do you have anything nice for us? Anything interesting to say? Are you hunting Oh, something? you've even got to impress the, the collectors. That's cool. <laughs> and we interrupted his bear form, which means he's just going to go down. Are you hunting okay, so those blasted crafters selling our children pauldrons and helms and shields. When I was a kid, I only needed a sword, a bearskin, and a few tattoos. Well, I'll tell you what. The more elemental dust you bring me, the less crafters will have for making armor. Bring me five piles of elemental dust, and then I'll give you. So this, I guess this is a joke at the, the armorers later on in the game that you can meet who want loads of elemental dust to give you armor that I talked about in the last episode. That's really cool. I never realized you said that. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not going to give him any because I actually want the armor. You can go screw yourself, but yeah. All right, so here we've got a little bit of a lake area. Another Norn to fight. Cold or the Merciless. I am going to fight these guys. Who goes there? See, I think it would have been cool if in Guild Wars 2 this kind of mechanic came back somehow. I don't know whether it will. It would be quite hard with a fully persistent world. Oh, yes, lots of Jotun. Have we met the Jotun? I think we have the joke. They're pretty much just giants that live in the in the um, mountains, and they have a lot of punishment hexes. So even uh, well, their mesmers mostly do. They they just have a lot of control, as we like to call it, which is um, skills that manipulate the way your enemies move. So their warriors knock you down all the time, if I remember correctly. Their mesmers mean you take damage if you do certain stuff. They're just generally quite annoying. I think their necromancers have like punishment stuff as well. Anyway, they went down pretty easily, I must say. Now, this is probably going to be another long journey. Hopefully, I can squeeze it into one episode. So, I, I'm going to try and not chat the whole way through. But, if I see interesting stuff, I probably will. Um, I have a feeling we're not going to meet Yorgamond. Oh, well. It's just a giant worm. If we see him, we see him. Oh yeah, I should probably mention actually, um, today, uh, it will probably be like a week until you guys see this video, but today, uh, ReNinet announced that they were actually coming to London, you know, it, last year people were screaming, please, please do a convention in England, please do it, I was really close to going to Paris, but I just didn't have the money to do it, um, but now they're coming to London, I'm not sure yet, but I think I might end up going there so I can play a bit of Guild Wars 2, it's not too far from where I live, it's just a few hours really, so yeah, I'm really excited about that, and if I do go, I'll definitely be bringing my, uh, video camera it will probably be really crappy shaky cam footage like everybody does and it will probably be, be me just doing generic crap like everybody does so I doubt it will really be that unique the footage maybe I can speak to a few of the developers though or something I'm not sure I I would like to go this isn't a 100% but if I do you guys can expect content from me um, but yeah it's a very exciting idea of them going to London it's just a question of money the thing is they're going when I've started my new job and I can't get any time off not in the first month when I start so ah, I kind of complicates things a little bit I don't have any lock picks but yeah uh, I'll keep you guys posted really excited about it hopefully I can show you me playing some uh, Guild Wars 2 or some interesting stuff we'll see I follow the game quite uh, religiously shall we say so hopefully I'll, I'll do some of the more interesting stuff that people have found out or find out some new stuff by going to new areas I don't know I don't know but yeah I thought I should let you guys all know 
just to see what happens, really. Let me know if you'd actually be interested in watching that, or really you just like the Let's Play and, and nothing else, really. I think there's something interesting here, actually. So, up in this corner, there's a lot of Jotun, as you can probably tell. And, oh, where are they? There is actually a ring, is it over there? Of Jotun that you can watch, and they're like having little fights with each other, like barbarians. And it, I think they like sort of rotate who's fighting who, and the other ones are cheering them on, and each Jotun's got like his fans, and you can go in and completely wreck the party. It's hilarious. Um, it's a bit like the, yeah, there they are. Is that them? No, that's not them. Oh, where are they? It's a bit like the um, uh, Hidden Stone Summit conversation you can read that I showed you last episode. I would like to show you. I know they're somewhere around on this uh, this field. Hmm, I seem to have missed them. I'm sorry about that, guys. Well, if you play, that's something to watch out for. There's a load of Jotun around here. Oh, three polar bears moving together. Polar bears don't move together in real life, do they? No. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so they're around. They're sort of having a little arena. They're shouting at each other. It's quite hilarious. Uh, but yeah, Olgred the Cal Calamitious. Who goes there? Why have I never heard that word? Right, well, okay, so the northern areas. This is Drakkar Lake. And there is quite an awesome sight to be seen here. Oh god, more dead Norn. Does this mean we're going to see the Norn bear? There it is. The Norn bear again. Don't let it get away. Says I. So, uh, one thing to pay attention with the Norn bear is it's got those skills like Spirit World Retreat, how it can move into the Spirit World. There are some weird Norn that they've introduced to us in Guild Wars 2 that can do that kind of thing. I'll go back to that later. Anyway, uh, we lost it again. Perhaps a Norn Hunter could help us. They know this area. Sif Shadow Hunter said there's nothing wrong in accepting help. Let's seek her out. So Sif, yeah, we actually met her. Sh Never probably should have mentioned Norn. this. Sif, we met. Uh, she was one of the Norn uh, stood with Jorah when we first left Burial Station. Do you remember there were two of them? And they turned into bears. Why? Are you oh, here? I should have read that. Sorry, guys. You can pause it if you if you want to. Yeah, um, she was one of those. Oh, and a mountain eagle. Hello. Uh, so we have met her, and we will meet the other Norn that was there. If I can remember who it was. But yeah, lots of modern... I love this explorer where it's probably my favourite in, in the far Shiver Peaks. It's kind of these big rolling fields surrounding a big lake. It doesn't look like a very big lake from, from the map, but it's quite a big lake. Uh, there's some really interesting um, hidden things, which I'll show you when we go to the, the quests to do with them. Uh, and like just like boss patrols in big circles. And in the lake itself, there's something massively important for Guild Wars 2 that for a long time we thought we could actually see one of the elder dragons here you, there are actual sightings of things like that in Eye of the North because by this point like I said they knew they knew everything they wanted to do for Guild Wars 2 and we actually thought we could see one of them um, I don't know how closely you guys are following the game but they are big and this thing is big as well I'll show you it but uh, it turns out it's not even one of the elder dragons it's crazy it's uh, it's in the lake I will go there later that will be that will be topics for later though I keep saying that I keep finding myself saying oh I'll talk about it later but I will. And if I don't, you can remind me and you can shout with me. Oh. Oh yeah, I've switched to the avatar of Duena, as you've no doubt noticed. Um, just like in, in Nightfall, I said to you guys, if you have any preferences of what I use, just just tell me. Just let me know. I, I don't really care. I, I just like the way Duena looks, I think. Plus her uh, healing thing. I was fiddling around. I was using some kind of odd builds for a while, uh, which I'm hoping to keep. Kamu, for instance, you'll notice he's using Duena as well. But he's not actually running up and fighting with me. He's holding a staff. He's actually using quite a, a cool build where he, he like buffs my attacks and heals people and stuff. Um, so yeah, he's cool like that. I might put him back to a regular dervish later, I don't know. Look at me, I've talked pretty much the whole journey. Well, I guess that's the way to do it. I don't really like having to speed it up constantly and sort of stop talking and just sit there in silence. It's one of those games where once you've discussed what the combat's like, it, it kind of r renders 90% of the gameplay completely boring. Are you hunting something? Because there's n so rarely anything unique to talk about, unless you're in a mission. Wiglaf, I love that name. Wiglaf, wow. If I make a Norn, maybe I'll call him Wiglaf or something similar. 
Right, so uh, it's not just a big field with a lake. Up here, there's loads of caves. There's actually a dungeon here. Um, cool stuff. Again, it's all, it's all places we'll be seeing. Parti very soon, actually, we'll be going in those caves and checking all that stuff out. Uh, around here, you can have some big Jotun encounters. I, I think I might like this explorable area as well, because this whole stretch one now, really, there's nothing to fight anymore. There is a graveyard on my left. I think in a minute and if you go well I said that and now there's some mod near here I swear these guys usually aren't here uh, but yeah I think there's a graveyard as well which if you walk over to the graves and start desecrating them the tears spirits do come out and start fighting you but um, if you don't do that you'll be perfectly safe now I want to do it to demonstrate to you guys oh I think I just started speaking a little bit early yeah so there's Sifhala there nice big gates Reuven, another nice Norn name. Oh, Kami says it. See this? Jotun tracks. They lead to the south. I suggest that we follow. The tracks are becoming more erratic. I cannot tell if the creature is inebriated or merely an oaf. It appears they have continued to the south. The tr the, this tree appears to have been hugged, and recently, the tracks here are fresh and leading toward the frozen lake. The beast is nearby. Right, okay, so again, you know what happened with Zandra? These are, these are probably quite badly designed quests, actually. Uh, the same things just happened with Zandra, sorry about that, where we went to sort of areas and it's triggered all the dialogue at once. We will look at Kami's story later. I want to go to Sifala, though. Yeah, here's Reuven. Who sent you? And yes, the Jotun are a bit of a comedy figure. Yeah, so even, look, just a little graveyard, right? You might have had graveyards in the previous games, like that one in the Crystal Overlook, where you get attacked. But they even went to the length in Eye of the North of changing the lighting when you go to the damn graveyard. I mean, how cool is that? But yeah, lots of the tears. Probably shouldn't have done this. Screw it. I've demonstrated it. They'll all fight. I'm going to go. Uh, another collector. Tanny Silvermane. Are you hunting something? Oh, I'll impress you. Why are you here? I hate the sound of mod near hooves thundering through the air. It's so loud, I swear that they have four extra legs. <laughs> Their unnatural rhythmic beat drowns out the musical spirit of nature all around us. I wish to silence this cacophony so I may once again hear the beating heart of the mountain. Bring me five of their manes. Huh, that's kind of cool. I would have thought, well, I don't know. Are the centaurs one with nature? That's, a, that's an interesting question, really. And another guy, dude and cliff jumper. I'll fight him later. And a dwarf called Budger Black Powder. This guy's awesome. Look at his gear. You can just tell he's awesome from that. Talk about him later as well. God, the list is really piling up, isn't it? Let's just go to Sephala. I want to come here so bad because there's a cutscene to watch, and I haven't shown a cutscene for a while. So, right, Sephala. Hello. Right, so we're looking for Sif Shadowhunter, who's over there. Lots of plaques here, lots of different people we can fight. I'll be showing you all those, because obviously the Norn, they love to hunt, and uh, these are like uh, bills, if you will. Uh, let's read what Sif is all about. Sif Shadowhunter refused to battle for encampment held by other Norn. Instead, building her own hearthstead and defending it so fiercely, some call her Bear Mother's Cave, in tribute to her strength and glory. Others of similar attitude have put up hides here, describing notorious foes they plan to hunt, or daring others to track them down. So you can get information about all these hunts, we will be doing them, you get unique skills for killing them. Uh, but let's speak to Sif. Hello Sif! Again. I am Sif, great hunter of the north, slayer of ten dozen wolves, three score bear, and one vicious rabbit. Yeah, remember that line. Um, <laughs> tracking the Norbert. I heard you were looking for me. You're the ones hunting the Nornbert, no? Consider yourselves lucky to still be alive. Its lair is nearby. The beast has raided my stead many times of late. Make yourself useful and help me put an end to this menace. It's only a matter of time before it attacks again. So, a Norn who actually will accept our help. Attack of the Nornbert. Oh god, are we alone? Did I quit out of my party? Oh god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die if I do that. Why did I leave? <laughs> Alright, so the Nornbert is actually going to attack here. Lots of Norn allies with us. They'll be good, won't they? Sif, sh Sif says... Why are you here? The same thing as she already did. She says, the Norn bear approaches. There it is. Slay it in its tracks. All right, go Norn, go. The Norn are pretty strong, so... It should go well. <laughs> yeah, did you see it coming? <laughs> yeah, they're all dead. Right, so it's just us. And, of course, we killed a god, so... We're way better than the Norn. Undoubtedly. And he runs off. Stop running away from us. He uses Spirit World Retreat and leaves. Or he should leave. I think he's bugged out. Oh no, he's not bugged out. Turn and face your uh, judgment abomination. Oh, Jorah's here. When did you get a Jorah? Jorah? It's gone. We must track it quickly. Yes, it is bugged. No, there we go. It's gone. Right. 
It's about time you showed your face, Jorah. Yeah, it is. Where you been? We haven't seen you since the Eye of the North. I've been hunting him all this time. Yeah, why do, why do I find that hard to believe? I would have seen you. Hunting is not trapping. It's time you accepted help. Let us appeal to the wolf spirit. Find this menace and put an end to it. The wolf spirit. So we've heard a lot about the bear spirit. The Norn can shapeshift into more than just bears. They, they can shapeshift into all kinds of different spirits. Jorah says, I know what must be done. What is this creature, Jorah? Good question. Jorah's curse. The plot thickens. Woo! What is this creature, Jorah? You seem to know a lot about it. I know all too much, I'm afraid. My brother and I were both hunters. One day we chased our prey across Drakkar Lake, a place our people normally shun. We found something there. Do you feel it, Jora? Something in the air? All I feel is a chill harsher than any blizzard. Yes, it is cold, but it also feels ancient, old and powerful. This place is cursed, Svanir. Let us leave it. No. A simple spell should reveal the nature of the power. I do not know what we contacted that day, but its energies nearly consumed us. I resisted the power and was cursed by it. I cannot embrace the wild. I can no longer become the bear. My brother seized the power and went mad. He was transformed. He became the creature you fought. My brother now raids the Norn settlements. He avoids me, though I pursue him. I communed with the bear spirit. She wishes you to aid me. You want us to help find your brother? No. I want you to help me kill him. Well, there we go. Right, so a lot of that has a lot of relevance to the second game. You can kind of see what they're talking about, an old, ancient, powerful magic, what that could potentially have come from. If you guys have read particularly Edge of Destiny, though it's a shitty book, it does talk quite nicely about um, that old, ancient power and indeed about what's going on here. So, yeah, the plot thickens a bit, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll continue with it next time. Have a wonderful day.